They're very nervous about the... you know what? Don't worry, children. Dr. Payne knows what he's doing. See what you did? You can't say doctor in front of them. Right, boo! I know what I'm doing. Look at my wall. MD, PhD, WBC, knocked out Jerry Cooney in the second round. So back off, skinny boy! Who is this guy? He's the only one our HMO will pay for. Little babies, how would you like a lollipop? All done. What about their shots? They're in the sucker, fool! Vaccine, pops! Develop them myself. That's great. I don't know. I think we need a second opinion. What'd you say, Brown? Ah, nothing, champ. Let's get out of here. The doctor's a quacko. Let's go. Uh, ain't you forgetting something? Oh, yeah. I was watching that. Come on, sugar mama. We're leaving. Not her. According to my records, you missed your flu shot. Is that all? Hook me up with one of those vaccine pops, preferably, Jerry. You don't get a sucker, sucker! <laughs> Like a baby. Be a man. No! <laughs> Oscar, be still. Ouch! Quiet, fool! This is a delicate procedure! Oscar, listen to the nice doctor. Mm, thank you, Sugar Bear. Mama, thank you for getting my money back. Honey, I just wanted you to see that if you approach someone reasonably, make a human connection, and find some common ground, chances are you will get what you want. If you take your dad's attitude, you get a call from Dr. Payne. Listen to your mama, itty bitty. Okay, Brown, you all finished. Take two aspirin and stay away from water for about a month. Well, I'm done. Here, take my bill. Five hundred dollars for some aspirin and some glue? It was a house call, fool. No, you're the fool because I'm not paying for it. What? <laughs> oh! Honey, could you rock Dr. Payne to jail? Okay, put these robes on and get ready for an old-fashioned rub-down. Yay, yay! Dr. Payne? What, what are you doing here? It's my world, fool! Dr. Payne's world of relaxation! Now lay down, suckers! You're in Dr. Payne's hands now! No! I sure hope the guys are having as good a time as we are. You look tense, Proud. You need to loosen up and relax. I can't. Don't worry. Dr. Payne will get the kinks out. Oh, no, no thanks. I'll keep the kinks. How do you feel, Proud? Don't come near me. You almost, you quack. Wait a minute. I feel good. The kinks are all gone. Of course they are. I'm a professional. You better recognize. Boulevard uh, is. What are you rolling up to? No! No! How do you feel? I feel. I feel great. My kinks are gone too. I even lost some weight. Of course you did. And you're gonna lose even more when you pay me. Now this treatment's gonna knock some sense into you. Is it a sprain, Dr. Payne? Mm, it could be, Trudy. And it could be a hairline fracture. Fracture? But the championship football game is next week. I've got to play, Dr. Payne. Mm, sorry, itty bitty. But if it's a fracture, you'll be watching from the sidelines. I don't need a new license. What's wrong with this one? Well, for one thing, it expired in 1938. <laughs> the only thing you can drive with that license is a dinosaur. <laughs> Don't disrespect the sweet little sugar mama. Thank you, Dr. Payne. Dr. Payne, what are you doing here? He's here to treat Penny. We think she has a broken leg. What? A broken leg? Then I think we ought to get a real doctor to look at her. I am a real doctor, fool. I've got three PhDs and four title belts. I knocked out Jerry Cooney and revived him. Now everybody stand behind this lead shield. I'm ready to take the x-ray. Mm. Oscar, Dr. Payne said for everyone to stand behind the shield. Come on, Trudy. That's not an x-ray machine, and he's not a doctor. When are you going to catch on? Okay, suit yourself, proud. <laughs> See that? I told you nothing would happen. So what does it look like, Dr. Payne? Sorry, itty-bitty. It's a hairline fracture. You're benched for the next month. 
What about Oscar Dr. Payne? Mm, I've got a lampshade on him! <laughs> Ow! Ow! What? Ooh, this is a delicate procedure! Ow! Then could you delicately do your job? Don't push him my bedside, man, sucker! You should be worried about me. I'm the one they use the jaws of life on. Don't worry, huh? proud. I'll take care of you. Let's take an x-ray and make sure you don't have any broken bones like any minute. Here's the lead cover. Put it on! Look, Doc, I told you that little box has no effect on me. Fine. Get behind the shield, little bitty. Ah! ah, so, Doc, how do I look? Now read that line, sugar bear. Yeah. What line? Thank you. Well, I see the problem. Her vision is bad, isn't it, Doctor? No, her eyesight's fine. If she were a bat, don't worry, I'll fix her up. Ooh, I couldn't see a thing. But tell me what you see now. Woohoo! I can see again! It's a miracle! No, <laughs> it's your new glasses. That is right, Sugar Bear. Now, if you ever need anything, just give Dr. Payne a call. So how's Mongo doing, Dr. Payne? We've got 20 more commercials to shoot. Time is money. We can't go into overtime. What? Ooh, you almost killed this man. And you worried about some commercials for your lousy snacks? <laughs> Mongo tummy bad. Is he really gonna be okay, Dr. Payne? I don't know, Sugar Bear. It's gonna be touch and go. I think once I pump his stomach and get some fluids in him, he'll be okay. In about a month. You ready, Sugar Mama? Ready, Dr. Payne. Where you going, Sugar Mama? Ooh, to get back in shape. I only have a week before I get married. You are not marrying Clarence, Mama. Look, boy, subject is closed. Now, butt out. But, Mama, what the... My fool! Respect your sweet little sugar mama. Thank you, Dr. Payne. Anything for you, sugar bear? Now, let's work you out. Hmm. Uh, six, five, and seven. Zoo, a dangerous animal, stupid comment, typical story. Oh. Hi, Dr. Payne. Hi, itty bitty. <laughs> Ooh, it's the only way to get all the water out. <laughs> but he's hurting me, Judy. Listen to the doctor, Oscar, please. He's a trained professional. <laughs> Quiet, sucker. Please, girls, I need you. I'm desperate. My wife won't do it. My monkeys won't do it. I don't, I don't know who to turn to. Penny, please, please. Come please, on, guys. Penny, I can't stand please, to see my dad like this. Let's do it. It won't kill us. Come on, Dr. Payne. Hurry up. I've got another batch of snacks for the kids to try. Quiet, fool. Don't you see I'm working? Oscar, I don't believe you. Your snacks are what made the kids sick. That's your opinion. That's a fact, Proud. Good thing your wife called me. The kids are gonna be okay. Just stay away from Proud's snacks. Forever. Here's my bill. Take it, Proud! 400 bucks! I, I think you made a mistake, Doc. You're right. It's 500! Well, what is the extra 100 for? Back to sucker! Now you kids eat this, and before you know it, you'll be as good as new. Why don't you eat one of those, Sugar Mama? Because the old Sugar Mama has worn out her welcome. <laughs> ah, boo. Respect your sweet little Sugar Mama. Well, thank you, Dr. Payne. Have one of my get-up-and-go bars. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> this is great. What's in it? Well, let's just say I put my foot in it. You sure did. You need to teach your son how to make snacks like this, Sugar Bear. Well, now, that's easier said than done, Doctor. The boy is slow. It took me 12 years just to potty train. Thank you, Mrs. Proud. 
Kid should be up and about in a couple of hours. And thanks for the snack, sugar mama. I feel like I can go 18 rounds with Mac Tyson. Good night!